Mill Valley has become one of the hottest real estate markets in Marin County when the pandemic hit and people living in San Francisco fled for the suburbs. Mill Valley was an obvious choice for so many people. It is close enough to the city such that you're not giving up the city's great parks, food, shopping, but you're getting a much more serene lifestyle in Mill Valley with access to your own share of great outdoor amenities, great public schools, and great food. And that caused the housing market there to shoot up like crazy, but as expensive and desirable as Mill Valley is, it's not for everyone and it's not for me personally. I'm Austin Clark, your lawyer turned real estate agent in San Francisco and Marin County, and there is a lot to love about Mill Valley. It has a ton of pros, and I totally get why people love it and are moving there in mass, but it's not for everyone and it's not for me. I wouldn't live there except in very narrow circumstances in very narrow parts of different neighborhoods. And in this video, I'm gonna give you all the reasons why. So let's get right to it. And reason number one is the hills. A lot of Mill Valley, not all of Mill Valley, but a lot of Mill Valley is built into hillsides and mountainsides so the lots that these houses sit on are very steep so instead of open flat yards like you can get in other parts of marin um, a substantial portion of mill valley has these terraced yards you know steep stairs leading up to your house from your driveway or your garage if you even have one um, or the house itself is like a multi-level house a ton of stairs and the surrounding area is not super walkable because it's fairly steep. You're not really close to a lot of restaurants and shops and grocery stores, so it's not super walkable overall. I live in San Francisco, so you might be wondering, how the heck are you complaining about hills? Well, yes, I do live in Pacific Heights, which is a hilly neighborhood, but mostly in the east to west direction, it's actually not very hilly. I'm also a block away from a park. I'm a couple blocks away from a ton of great restaurants and multiple grocery stores, uh, bars, you name it. So even though there are hills nearby, I'm not walking a super long distance to get to those places five to 10 minutes at the most. Whereas if you're living in a lot of these areas in Mill Valley, you are not walking distance to shops and restaurants and any you know bars or grocery stores. You're very far away. So if you do want to walk and brave a lot of those hills, it's going to be a lot longer and more arduous of a trek. And just because I live in a hilly area now doesn't mean that's what I want when I move to the suburbs. If I move to Marin, which, you know, I think about a lot because I do spend a lot of time up here, I want something that's a little bit different than the lifestyle that I have in San Francisco. I want something that is a lot flatter, more open. I don't want to live in a super hilly area. As I said, not everywhere in Mill Valley is like that. You can live in Tamil Pais Valley, for example, where a lot of the homes are in relatively flat, open streets with big yards. Same thing in Strawberry on the other side of the 101. But if you live in these places, you're not walking distance to much of anything. You're actually a pretty far trek from things you'll want on a daily basis. Or you could live in Sycamore Park, which is a relatively flat, very upscale neighborhood stuck in between the two main roads in Mill Valley, Miller and Blydedale. The lots there are relatively flat. You are super close to grocery stores like Whole Foods, uh, multiple coffee shops, and all the great restaurants that are on Miller and in downtown Mill Valley. But then you're paying, you know, at least three and a half million dollars for anything half decent, well over two million, even for fixer properties. So it's a great place to live, but not everybody can afford that. And there are other downsides to living there too, which we'll talk about shortly in this video. Bottom line, a lot of Mill Valley is hilly, or you at least need to trek up and down major hills to get to where you want to go. And by the way, if you want to learn more about what it's like living in a bunch of different neighborhoods in Marin County, what day-to-day -day life is like, what the pros and cons are, what the housing market is like in all these areas, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I make videos about that stuff every single week. And if you're having trouble navigating the market and figuring out the exact right place for you, definitely reach out to me. The contact information is in the description below and I'd be happy to help you. Now back to the reasons why I wouldn't move to Mill Valley. Reason number two, and this is probably the main thing that's holding me back, are the narrow windy roads. Because a lot of Mill Valley is built into those forested hillsides like I talked about, a lot of the roads are very, very narrow and they're very windy. So in a lot of parts of the city, you are creeping really slow around bends, you know, on the way to the, your house or to the grocery store. Um, think things like one-way roads that are being treated as two-way roads. So if a car is coming, you're going to have to back up and pull over maybe into a driveway or onto the side of the road. It's very precarious navigating a lot of these streets. I'm constantly stressed when I am either driving clients to places in Mill Valley or I'm meeting people in Mill Valley to tour places. It's not an easy environment to drive it, and it's a huge turnoff for a lot of people. To be honest, there are houses that, you know, I've thought about going to tour as maybe something that a client might be interested in, and the drive there is so awful, I turn around and don't even go see the house because I know they're never going to consider it. And when I tell them that's the reason, they're like, yeah, I, I'm not going to do that. They have a huge aversion 
to driving on those streets in a lot of Mill Valley. And just like it's not for them, it is not for me. I don't want that. Even places like Sycamore Park, which is a relatively flat area and not built into a hillside, it has extremely narrow roads. It's not a, like a huge deal in that flat area, but I really don't want to have to deal with pulling over to the side of the road anytime there's another car on the road, you know, just trying to go to the grocery store or something. There are definitely parts of Mill Valley that aren't like that. Strawberry on the other side of the 101 is a great example. Very open streets compared to most of Mill Valley. And there are places further away from the bottom of Mill Valley, you know, closer to Panoramic Highway that are very open, much more suburban feeling, more open streets. But again, if you're living in those places or if you're living in Strawberry, you're going to be a lot farther from the action in Mill Valley, farther from downtown, farther from coffee shops, farther from grocery stores. And in my opinion, one of the best parts of Mill Valley and one of the reasons why so many people love it are the great shops and restaurants and kind of the scene downtown, which you're not going to get, you know, at least walking distance if you're living in any of those places. Reason number three is that the homes there are a lot more densely packed, so you tend to have smaller lots than you do in other parts of Marin. If I'm leaving San Francisco, which is a very dense, you know, urban environment for the suburbs, I want space. I don't want my house to be on top of my neighbors. I don't want a really small lot where I just get, you know, a little bit of a backyard and a small driveway. I want a lot of space. I want to be able to hang out with friends or family in my yard without disturbing my neighbors. And likewise, you know, if there are kids running around uh, next door, I don't want to have to hear that at all times of the day. I want some privacy and I'm sure neighbors would too. And Mill Valley is incredibly expensive. You actually can live in a lot of different parts of Marin uh, on bigger lots, paying a lot less on average than you would in Mill Valley, for example, in like parts of San Anselmo and San Rafael and Greenbrae. You can get more land for less money. And of course, there's a flip side to that. There are definitely places that are more expensive with bigger lots or same size lots, even like in Tiburon, Belvedere, and then much bigger lots in like Kenfield and Ross. For the most part, the closer you get to downtown Mill Valley, the more densely packed those houses are going to be and the smaller those lots are going to be. So it's going to be a trade-off being closer to those amenities that people love so much about Mill Valley and open space. Reason number four is the weather. The weather on average in Mill Valley tends to be colder and foggier than the rest of Marin, you know, further north. It gets into the 80s on average in the summer, but because of those forested mountain hillsides, it tends to be more foggy and cooler than other parts further in Marin. There are areas in Marin where you can live near the water and it actually has better weather than more inland areas of Mill Valley. So if your goal is escaping that San Francisco fog, there are definitely parts of Mill Valley that are not going to be for you. And the last reason why I would rather not move to Mill Valley if I was moving to Marin, traffic. Shoreline Highway, Miller Avenue, Blydale Avenue, those are the main roads in Mill Valley. And pretty much any time you go on them, no matter what time of day, there's traffic. And whether that's from it just being rush hour or because there's constant construction going on and these roads, like I said, are narrow. So when construction goes on, only one side of the street is open and it causes a big backup, there's traffic. So if you're traveling to or from downtown, uh, you know, to get coffee or to go to a restaurant or to get groceries, whatever it is, there's a pretty good chance that you might get stuck in a little bit of traffic. Like, no, it's not going to be the same as like trying to get across the Bay Bridge in San Francisco or like driving in Orange County or Los Angeles. But when you're in the suburbs, it kind of doesn't jive with the overall feel of the area. And it's not what I really want if I'm moving out of San Francisco, which is super busy, into the suburbs. Bottom line, especially for the price, there are much easier places to navigate in Marin County than a lot of Mill Valley. Well, there you have it. Those are the reasons why I personally wouldn't move to Mill Valley, except you know, in very specific enclaves of Mill Valley. As I mentioned, Mill Valley has a ton of great qualities. There's a reason so many people are moving here and love it here. It is a great place to live and you can be very happy here. And not every single neighborhood in Mill Valley shares the characteristics that I just talked about that are the cons. You know, they're only present in certain areas. Not all of them are present in all areas. And also not everybody cares about those things or prioritizes them in the same way that I do. Not everybody is moving to Mill Valley from San Francisco or from some other densely populated area. Maybe they're moving there from another suburb and they have their own reasons why they're doing it and what they like and don't like. So just because I don't like it doesn't mean that it isn't the exact right neighborhood for you. I've helped several clients move to beautiful homes in Mill Valley and they absolutely love it and I totally get why. This is just my honest perspective about the neighborhood and I wanted to share. If you're thinking of relocating to Marin County and having trouble figuring out exactly the right neighborhood for you or navigating the market, or figuring out where to even start your search, I made a whole separate video ranking in tiers a bunch of different cities in Marin County so you can see how they stack up against each other. 
I'll link that in the description below. Definitely worth checking out. I'll also link a video about my personal favorite neighborhood in Marin, Ross. It's where I would live if I had unlimited budget. It is super expensive, no doubt about it. But when you hear about it and see the beautiful houses there, you will understand why. And remember, if you have any questions about what's going on in the Marin County market, which is super fast paced, very challenging, definitely reach out to me. I'd be happy to chat. My contact info is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.